Guys, y'all do not know how excited I am to be going and finally picking up this from the powder coat shop. It's been up there for at least three weeks now. Uh, they were up there a week past when they said they would be done. And I'm just, I'm really hoping that these turned out nice and y'all like them as much as I do and I cannot wait to get them installed. Uh, I'm about to go pick them up, toss them in the bed of the truck, and then uh, we'll be at the house and I'll show y'all everything. Guys, I cannot wait for this. And here we go. Here's the first look at the powder coated Road Armor Identity Series bumpers. y'all just saw them these are the road armor identity series bumpers these are the first set this is the first set of road armor identity series bumpers that are not on a company road armor company vehicle so that's gonna be pretty cool my only concern and i stressed this a lot when i was talking to them was the bumper that they have on their truck the red one i'll just show it right here real quick the red one is made or the bumper that they had done for that was made for fender flares I absolutely cannot stand fender flares, so I don't know. I just hope that this bumper does not stick out out here parallel where the fender flare would be and me not have them. If that's the case, I'll be contacting Road Armor and uh, either, here I'll show you all real quick. There's, there's two ways to go about it. Either it would be just replacing the edge on both sides or a little front bumper. I don't know. But, I mean, looking at it, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's that much wider. I don't know. It's it's hard to tell because of the angles and whatnot. But let me know what y'all think. It's not too often you see a bunch of these like multi-piece, like big multi-piece bumpers, right? Like the rear bumper is three solid chunks, the front's three solid chunks, and then there's some interior, like the pod holders for the front bumpers and stuff like that. And then there's the little inserts. Hold on, let's check these out real quick. I showed them to y'all, but here's, here's some inserts. Check that out. Dang, these things are nice. I don't know. I'm extremely excited. I hope y'all are excited too because that means that the next time the truck's in the shop, the bumpers are getting put on, the rear traction bars, and the train horn kit. All of them are being put on. So that's going to be a really, really good time and the truck is going to completely change. And then, and then after that, it's not that the truck's done. But oh, so much of the big stuff is out of the way, you know, like lift tires, wheels, bumpers, train horn, you know, besides the shell, you know, maybe some interior work. Uh, Mobile Toys is fabbing up a, a custom stage four uh, subwoofer enclosure. Enclosure, I think it's the, uh, it's going to have two 12s in the back. It's going to be sick. That should be done this week and they'll get that installed. I'll make sure he takes videos or footage or anything really just 
whatever I can get him to record or take pictures of, I will. And then, I mean, I'll make a slideshow or something. I don't know. I'll just, I'll have it to where y'all can see the install and whatnot of that. Oh, and real quick, check. If y'all haven't seen my last video, I did a uh, sort of unboxing and then I installed the uh, the Gen Y, Jenny Hit. With Hmm. I'm having trouble hearing you. Shut up. The hell? So, I did a video on this, the Gen Y, Jenny Hitch with the bolt locks. If y'all want to see that, it's going to be linked somewhere, top right of the video, something like that. If y'all want to check that out. But guys, this is just sort of one of those small build update videos, you know, getting stuff in. Uh, this is a small video for some huge parts, but these are going to be pivotal. This is something else that's going to set my truck apart because nobody else has them. It's going to be a huge talking point. Everybody's going to ask what they are, who made them, and all that. And I don't know. I can't wait. So I hope you all are, are as excited as me. And this is your first time stopping in the channel. I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. We're at 3,600. We'll be at 4,000 subs before we know it. This is extremely random. Guys, every night... Almost every night I stream twitch.tv slash Chevy Offroading, stream Fortnite, play with friends, play with subs, all sorts of stuff. Have almost 700 wins now, going crazy. Stream averages 10, 15 people all the time. So if y'all are about that or you know you like to play video games or just want to hang out and get to know me a little bit more, then uh, join the streams. But other than that, hope y'all like this video guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Stay tuned for the next one.